are ways to overcome a betrayal. Mm. That does, I know a lot of people have a hard time hearing that, but there are. Okay. Dr. Stephanie Hunter Jones says it's possible for marriages to recover, but both spouses need to be willing to make the effort. And she's here with us now. Hello, Dr. Stephanie. Hello. Yes, thank, thank you for having me. Thank, thank you for being here. Yeah. here. Well, what does it mean when you say it's about the person who caused the infidelity and not the other person? That's my first question. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, as human beings, we all tend to take, take things personal, and we really take it personal if someone we love or care about has strayed from the relationship. Mm -hmm. uh, we say, oh, we're not attractive enough, we weren't sexual enough, but in reality, no, it's not about you. It's about the person that has strayed. Whatever the reason, perhaps they have low self-esteem, they have low self-worth, mm -hmm. uh, perhaps they have an unrealistic idea of what sex and sexuality really is. Right. But it is not about you if you have been um, cheated on. Really? Interesting. Mm -hmm. So that's, it's interesting because I, it feels like you, in old, an old way of thinking of it was mm -hmm. that it, it took two. Right. You know, yeah. so I well, did something. True, though. Right? In mm -hmm. some regards, you do have a... Uh, responsibility into okay. what is happening. Okay. Uh, in fact, I have a very high success rate in my practice working with couples uh, to mend their relationship. But one of the main things I do is I make them each take responsibility for why they're in my office. Mm, interesting. Um, it's very easy. Look, it hurts when we uh, when our you know, someone we love cheats on. It hurts, mm -hmm. and it's so easy to get in that victim place. Yeah. But if you can rise above that and take a look at, okay. Maybe did I deny them love? Did I deny them sex? Mm -hmm. uh, was I jealous? Was I smothering and overprotective? That's no excuse. Right. right. You know, but at but. the same time, if you can kind of take a look at your role and what happened, you have a greater shot of making it work. Right. Also, never assume. Mm -hmm. People come in and they're like, I caught him, so he's probably been cheating the whole time, or, right. or she's been cheating since the day I. You cannot do that. You can never assume. Right. Okay? Exactly. Right, right. And never make a decision out of anger. Yeah. You gotta look at the whole picture. You yeah. gotta look mm -hmm. at the whole picture of the relationship. Thank you. And also mm -hmm. like are there levels of infidelity? Because I've seen people get mm -hmm. just as mad about somebody having an actual affair as they mm -hmm. do about somebody, like, flirting. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, what do you say in, in those kind of situations? Mm -hmm. Right. Or, well, in that situation, uh, obviously, there is a huge difference. And if someone uh, has uh, that huge of a reaction uh, regarding flirting, then that uh, to me, that individual, I would need to take a look at where they are, they are at. They have low self-esteem. Mm -hmm. They have low self-worth. Right. Because we're all, let's face it, we're all sexual beings. Mm -hmm. And we all love to flirt and we all like to she's give attention. Like and I, I, I can tell she's already. <laughs> you sexual have, being. You That's what I am. Tell. I can That's sense the vibe. I feel like double, triple, double. <laughs> <laughs> I can just sense that vibe. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well. What if somebody brings in a detective? Yeah. Like, what do you do in a situation where it's gotten to, they have the, they got, they got Brian, they got mm -hmm. him in there. Mm -hmm. What uh -huh. happens in that situation? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, uh, for me, I'm not into, uh, one thing, when I work with my couples, if you have that many secrets, uh, this is unhealthy and dysfunction. Right. Now, mystery That's is sexy, mystery is sexy, mm -hmm. secrets are a disaster. Right. Well, what Ooh. are some tips that you can give right. people who feel like they are, they are in trouble, you mm -hmm. know, or you know, because I know a lot of people will sit there in a relationship and they know or feel that somebody is cheating. Mm -hmm. And uh, and what should they do? Commun you know, communicate. Communicate. They you need to talk to each you other. You need to talk to right. each other. Yes. And I tell you something. I tell each person they need to do is really sit down and think about where did they get their beliefs and their ideas about sex and mm -hmm. how relationships should be? Yeah. Did you get it from your childhood? Did you get it from religion, society? Mm -hmm. Did right. you get it from Disney? Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, we're... True. Which is we a very weird place to get it. Yeah, but, yes, but it you know, the precious fantasy yeah. of, yeah, it does of what happen. life, of what, what being with a man uh, is so about. Look, I can so, see Snow White. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's like eight men. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's one for every day of the week, plus uh, when one of them needs a day off. Uh -huh. <laughs>